Hey y'all, what's up? What's good? What's poppin'? Welcome back. I know I've been gone for a pretty long time, but I filmed a couple videos. Whatever, it's not even. So today I'm gonna come at you guys with something a little bit different. I'm gonna be showing you a tutorial on how to customize some classic slip vans. I'm gonna show you how I took these shoes and I'm gonna show you how I went from that to this. So if you guys are interested in learning how to make these custom shoes, stay tuned till the very end. I'll show you step by step the process I use. Keep in mind guys, I'm not claiming to be some professional custom shoemaker, you know, we're working there. So if you guys see something that I did wrong, kindly let me know in the comments below. I am open for all suggestions. All right, let's get into it. The supplies I used include GAC 900 in a matte finishing spray, Angelus white paint, two soft fabric medium, masking tape, an exacto knife, a pointed tool, a jar to mix paint with, a heat gun, a pen or sharpie for marking, a paint and an airbrush, scissors, the shoes of course, vinyl stencils, and lastly some transfer paper. Alright, so first we're going to take some masking tape and start laying it down. You want to make sure that the tape is laid down smoothly and doesn't have any air bubbles as air bubbles or openings can allow for the paint to get into unwanted areas. A tip for getting around curves is to cut smaller pieces so that you don't have too much creasing when you fold it over. As you can see here, I'm using my nail to tuck in the tape in between the rubber sole and the fabric. I like to go in with a pointed tool to get as close a seal as possible. So now I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the other shoe off camera. Once you have all the shoes taped up, you're going to stuff them to make sure they keep their shape when painting. Next, you're going to grab the stencil sheet and make sure you measure out how much you're going to be needing for each part of the shoe and mark it off on the sheet itself. Once you have that down, you can start cutting out those pieces. Then you can start peeling back the parts of the stencil that you want to show up when you go in with the paint, leaving behind the solid outline. Once you have the stencil all peeled back and ready, you're going to put the transfer paper over it, sticky side down of course. Make sure there aren't any air bubbles trapped inside. Then you can start cutting apart the sheets and peeling off the transfer paper, shifting all the stencil pieces onto it. Feel free to take your time with this as you don't want to leave any pieces behind. Now that you have the transfer sheet all ready, you can begin placing it onto the shoe, making sure to tuck it in tightly. As you can see here, the transfer sheet was a bit thick and wrinkling, so I used my heat gun to make it a bit more moldable to the shape of the shoe. Feel free to use a hard object to press it in, because as I mentioned before, it does get pretty hot and you don't want to burn your fingers. Once it's securely on, you can begin peeling back the transfer paper. So as you can see, the transfer paper I used for the shoe was giving me a bit of a hard time, so I brought back in the heat gun to loosen up the glue a bit and allow for a smoother peeling process. Now we got that off, I'm just touching up some of the areas a last time and smoothing anything down that needs to get smoothed down. Now we're going to mix our paint together. So for this shoe, I'm just going to use the White Angelus paint. I'm going to mix it in with some GAC 900 since we're painting on fabric shoes and are going to be heat setting the paint in between layers. And lastly, our too soft fabric medium, and we're going to mix that all together. And then we're going to drop it into the airbrush paint cup. Once you put the cap on, be sure to test out the airbrush on a different surface before going directly on the shoe itself because you want to make sure that the airflow is right to avoid any paint sputters. I recommend going slowly to maximize the coverage. And because the shoe is so dark, we're gonna have to do multiple layers. But in between layers, we're gonna go in with the heat gun to set the paint to the fabric. 
I'm using the Wagner Ferno heat gun. Be careful as temperatures can reach up to 1100 degrees Fahrenheit. So you want to make sure you're not burning yourself or the shoe. You're going to just repeat these steps a couple times until the white color builds to the shade you're looking for. For me, it took about 10 layers to get to the white that I was aiming for, so be patient. Once you get to this stage and have the white looking like this, you can start peeling off the tape around the shoe to reveal the pattern that was painted on. To get the smaller pieces, I like to go in with the pointed tool to lift the corners and remove it easily. As you can see, there's some areas where the white got on outside of the stencil, so I'm going to go in with some black paint and clean up the edges. I'm going to mix together the same combination of two soft and GAC 900 since we're going to be quickly heat setting in between layers. I ended up using a thinner brush than the one I showed in the beginning in order to get around the small corners. Once you are all finished touching up the areas, you're going to spray with some matte finish spray to seal up the paint. Pro tip, go easy with it because if you spray too much, it will lighten the fabric. Alright guys, so we are at the very end of this video and I want to show you guys the final result. If you guys enjoyed this video and you like these types of tutorials, then please let me know by leaving me a big thumbs up and maybe a comment down below. I have a couple more shoes that I plan on making, so if you guys want me to document that and show you how I do it, then let me know and I will do so. Make sure you guys go over to my Instagram page. My main account is at Brandilyn Vernoff, just my first name and last name. And I also started up an Instagram account for my customs. So if you want to go follow that, it is Angel B Customs. I will leave both of those down in the description, and I look forward to seeing you guys over there. But anyways, I hope you guys had fun with me. I had fun filming this for you guys, and I will come back at you with some new content. I got a couple different things I have in mind, so look out for those. And I can't wait to see you guys when I see you guys. Bye!